Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Jeff, I'm back with another requested type of video for you guys. So, you can already tell by title, but we're gonna change or transfer files with, you know, on the PS3's HDD, so the hard drive, hard disk drive, uh, without using anything, just the HDD itself. However, to do this, you do need a special cable. I will show you or give you more information about that later in this video. So, let's read the comment first. So, this video got requested by some person on the internet and he said sharp games for you just to mess with you make a video detailing how to swap your ps3 hdd and how to transfer files etc so he the main focus here is to swap your hdd to see that and then i can show you how to transfer files and stuff uh not even using multi-man or filezilla or dropbox or blackbox whatever all we're gonna use is a special cable like i said earlier or mentioned earlier you want to have a special cable like this this is a sata 2.5 i believe inch 2.5 inch hard disk uh drive reader thingy so if you if you search sata so s-a-t-a -A, and then space 2 as in to and then yeah, sata to usb you should get this cable one is to power it up one is to um and one is to transfer the files sometimes you can't really see that but usually you will have two usbs for one for transferring the files and one for uh, powering it up so there you go don't get a cheap one this is a cheap one this is for like seven bucks or something seven to eight yeah seven ish eight ish bucks try to get a cable for around 15 or 20 ish to start with you can go expensive you can get a 80 or 61 no you don't do that because you don't need a brand you can use a cheap one around 15 uh but don't go cheaper than 15 because it might it might not work so i got this for 750 7 something eight bucks or something i'm gonna test it with this i don't think it will actually work but we'll see let's actually go ahead and take this up to the next level let's i'm gonna show you how to transfer files but especially i'm, I'm gonna show you how to eject the hdd to maybe upgrade to a bigger one or maybe if it's broken or something how to maybe fix it or at least how to change it and put in a new one so let's go okay so let's go ahead and open the ps3 kind of uh first things thing first things first what you want to do and make sure is that there is no disc inside um however i do have a disc inside i believe which is Belfield, but i'm gonna deal with it um you also need a pair of uh, regular Phillips screwdrivers. Um, I have a flat one right here. So I'm going to use a flat one and uh, pop, 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 a star one. So these colors. Whoops. I have another one right here. So purple is flat and blue is star. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up again. Make sure there's no disc inside. I have one, I believe. So let's flip it over. All right, now, like I said before, there are different uh, type of models of a PS3, meaning different ways to get your HDD out of it. So make sure that you know how to open it up. Otherwise, look it up on YouTube. I will probably leave some links in the description box below. So this is a PS, PS3 Slim, which is a little bit harder, but it will get the job done. So what you have to do is there will be, if I turn this way, there is a little, uh, I don't know what the fuck that is, a cap, a kind of like a little cap. You should be able to tell it. Uh, if not, then just bear with me. Um, it's not easy. I mean, it's not hard to know it. So if you have nails, open up with the nails. But you can also just use a flat screwdriver. Just make sure that opens up. Now don't do it like me. Uh, because I just want to make sure the camera sees it. There you go. Open up. One side is open. And there will be a blue or whatever colored screw 
in there and you need a fucking and you need a a phillips screwdriver star screwdriver for it let's go ahead and unscrew that now i'm gonna i'm not gonna do it like this so there we go okay let's unscrew this bad boy all right let's make sure the camera sees everything there you go okay now for the slim the hard drive is located somewhere here so you will see some dvd blu-ray logos and stuff in here that's where the hard drive is located all you have to do try to pop this bad boy up okay so once that screw is out this part should become loose um we just have to play with it and it should there you go pop right out um don't worry it, it didn't broken anything it's just you know okay so that one has been popped out uh, you don't want to go too hard on it to actually break it but don't be too gentle. It's not a lady. Well, it kind of is. It's not a lady. It's more... It needs some aggressiveness, I guess. Okay, so I just zoomed in a little bit. There is a little metal thingy here. And you can hear it snap once you pull it up. And you can feel that little snap as well. So let's see if the microphone will pick this up. There you go. Once you hear that and you can feel it, pop it out. And here is your hard disk drive. All right, now it is in case. You can take the case out by unscrewing these screws. So there's one over here, over here, over here, and over here. And those screws just hold the case in, you know, in place. Um, this is the part where you just don't you don't need to unscrew the case or metal casing. This is the part where you take your special cable and plug it in here. So I'm gonna try to do this with the camera. So make sure everything's lined up perfectly. So let's do this in the camera actually. Okay, now that's on and you just easily plug it into your computer. Alright, once you are in your computer or on your computer actually or behind it actually, you want to connect the HD cable that's connected to the uh, HDD. HDD, not HDD, HDD. And then you just eat, simply just plug in the two USB ports. Let me do that right now. And place this right there. Okay, let's connect one USB first. Doesn't really matter which one. So that's number one. And number two. All right, so now you open up your, uh, you locate your hard drive by going into your external hard drive by going into um, this PC 
and then you should have it's somewhere here okay the hdd is actually spinning okay so what i will do is i'm gonna go to my device manager let me get it here's my device manager it doesn't pop up so um it may be in here no should be in here then usb root hub usb 3.0 that's not the one super speed usb hub no 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 okay so it's not in here um okay um so this usually means your cable can't do it um which is actually pretty odd this was the same problem that i had with my other bricked uh um hdd on my ps3 super slim but this usually means that for me it now means that the cable that i have is not really effective it's not really it, it's functioning or working but it's not really functioning so i have to get a new one another one but for you it will just be like a usb where it says you know bootsy data d recover or whatever and then usb or whatever it will say it will show up your hdd uh, it may be called something else but it will it should pop up in here and you just access it as you use like similar to where you use i don't know uh, multiman or filezilla uh stuff like that you know anyways uh, for me it doesn't so when you see let's say for example you have bootsy that is your ps3's hard drive you click on it and you will see um dev rebug or i mean dev uh dev hdd0 and stuff like that you know that's exactly how you transfer so you open it up and you go in whatever you want and you just copy and paste or modify anything you like but this is also how you uh do actually remove or change or upgrade or downgrade whatever you do with your H hdd so if you want to change your hdd this is how you do it if you want to transfer the files on pc without a uh, uh um, homebrew or whatever this is how you do it okay but for my for my end it doesn't really work which means i am afraid that this is now corrupted but we can test it out as well before i go though let's say your console is bricked remember on my tutorial on how to install a cfw so actually jailbreak your console i told you that to i told you to make a backup of your flash patched or whatever or your original flash thingy if your console is bricked you use this method with the cable to transfer files and you just go ahead and put that flash that you have a backup of back into the hdd and it should be unbricked but that's just the worst case scenario so usually if you just rebuild the database reinstall the update should be good okay let's switch over back to the camera and let's plug this bitch back in all right now that we're back um oops let's go ahead and put this bitch back in so it came out just like this we're gonna pl uh, put it in just like this um okay i want to warn you guys real quick it says here do not cover this hole interesting but that's maybe for the airflow do not push or shock whatever this cover so that's because you have to be be careful you know you don't want to damage it okay so go in or wait actually i think it came in like this never mind so the thing that you see the whatever it is that one on the upper side all right push it release it again with this little snap there you go and then don't know where the screw is 
Okay, I found the screw. Son of a bitch, there you go. Before you actually screw this thing, um, make sure we put this back, just like so. Oh, you can actually do it like this. There you go. Okay. So you can actually slide this like so, and it should come up pretty dang easily. And that should snap back in place. And now we screw back in. Oops, I, this is a wrong. There we go. Right, come on, you son of a bitch. Dang it. There we go. Don't make it too tight. I know you like it tight. There you go, snap that back in place. Flip it back up. And now, let's see if it actually still works. And it should work. But I'm afraid that the uh, cable actually pretty much messed it up. So, let's see if we need to rebuild the database or anything. Let's check it out. Alright, we're back. Um, everything's plugged in and yeah, everything's plugged in. Now what we do is we turn it on and see if something will happen. The Elgato says no signal. Don't worry, that will go away as soon as it picks up the uh, signal. Hey, it works perfectly fine, I believe. May say like yeah last time it didn't shut down correctly. Oh no. Nothing? <laughs> okay, nothing at all. So that's how you actually do this. So as you can see if I just log in, well go into my account. Uh everything works perfectly fine. No problem whatsoever. So Thank you for requesting this video, bro. I really enjoyed it. It was fun to create such a thing, you know. Hopefully, I was actually helpful, but it was a lot of fun to do it. So, thank you for that great request. For the ones that are new, go ahead and subscribe because I do upload different varieties of videos. Also, turn on those, you know, notifications, you know. Uh, but that will really support me and help me out. Uh, so, if you could do that, if you haven't already, subscribe because, you know, it will support me. I do upload different varieties of videos. I have two week uh, schedule, meaning one week it's all about general gaming and stuff. And then the next week is all about modding, developing and stuff like this. You know, technic, geeky-ish thing. Uh, but also I call it Mod Week Madness because, you know, we're also going to do a lot of modding. So really, really fun. Uh, but I also stream like every uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So one of those three options. Anyway, thank you again for requesting this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.